if somebody tells you that they're being hit by their partner or they're being abused, ask them what they need. Um, most women will be able to tell you, articulate very clearly what it is that they need to be supported. It might be going along with them to report to police. It might be getting some support from uh, a domestic violence service. It might be staying on your couch for a couple of weeks. It can be really simple things. It might be a little bit of financial help. Secondly, it's really important that they know that they're believed. Um, thirdly, we know for many women it will take a number of attempts before they leave the relationship. So being, trying to be as non-judgmental as possible, um, again, this is really crucial. If a woman goes back to the violence, um, often um, if she's spoken to you and, and revealed to you that there's something going on in the relationship, you may be the only one that she's felt safe to talk to. It's really important to maintain that contact and try not to, um, to judge if you see her you know, going back to an abusive partner. Just saying, look, I will be here for you. Let me know what you need. I have friends whom I'm still encouraging that we should go together and, and speak to a support person from the police or from a local domestic violence service. It's not an easy road and it's hard to leave somebody that you love. Uh, I guess, yeah, you need to, to know that there are, are systems in place and supports that can help you to lead you to a safer and better future. Probably good to remember that it can be really difficult to leave a, a, an abusive relationship and there are a range of reasons why women don't leave. We still live in a society that um, blames victims um, either for going back or not leaving the violence. It's important not to um, you know, pressure a woman to leave but actually to give her a range of support options, whether that's having a conversation with somebody at 1-800-RESPECT, whether it's um, reaching out to a domestic violence support service or having a conversation um, anonymously with police as well giving her a range of options and letting her know that you will walk alongside her um, as she's going through that journey is probably the best way. Often the most dangerous point in a relationship for any woman who's living with family violence is when she tries to leave. Um, unfortunately, the statistics bear that out in terms of what happens to women when they do try to leave. So um, I think if people are saying she should just leave, uh, they might be misunderstanding the nature of the relationship. And I think it's important to bear in mind that the urge to rescue somebody and the desire to help can sometimes uh, not be the best thing to act on and it's always good to get professional advice about how to approach any situation. But you know, just asking somebody if they're okay um, can be a way of at least trying to find out a bit more information about what might be going on. It doesn't mean that you then have to solve that problem. Um, there are services available who can provide that advice about what's the best thing to do in a situation particularly if you're in a small town and it's a family you know and you've just had a feeling things aren't right but nobody's kind of saying anything, um, we can help with advising about how you would have that conversation safely so that you don't put her at more risk because sometimes if he thinks he's been rumbled or if he feels he's been shamed in any way, that can actually make the situation worse for her. So it does have to be approached with a degree of caution.